The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change released its latest report highlighting the current climate change impact and future risk. And KCRA 3 meteorologist Heather Waldman has more on what the, re the report reveals. Yeah, hey Brian, today's report really served as a bold warning for all countries that some climate change impacts are already un unavoidable, but if changes aren't made soon, those impacts will become magnitudes worse and some will be irreversible. For a little background, the IPCC is a group of thousands of scientists and policy makers representing 195 countries within the United Nations. It produces regular, thoroughly researched reports to help answer some important questions about the impacts of climate change, what risks may lie ahead, and what changes can be made to help lessen those risks. The reports help drive po policy making and international negotiation. Today's report put the spotlight on the world's most vulnerable populations, an estimated three and a half billion people that will be most severely impacted by things like sea level rise, food shortages and disease over the next two decades. It also set a deadline for the most developed nations, 10 years. Major action or inaction within that time will determine how effectively we can fight the climate crisis. The longer it takes, the less likely our economies and lifestyles will be able to keep up with adapting. We are creating situations where heat waves and droughts and wildfires come together to create a series of effects, not only on, um, a, on agriculture, but also on our property, our health, our sense of belonging and being part of our community, which is so important to all of us. California is a keystone in the U.S. food supply, growing 40% of the country's produce. And of course, ag is a huge part of our state's economy. But according to a local economist, Californians need to think about this as a global issue. We're not seeing very much yet in terms of California goods being affected very much by climate. It just hasn't happened yet. The economy is global and the climate change is global. And that means climate change somewhere else may be just as important as climate change here. There were some positives within this report. There have already been some major steps taken to shift to a greener global economy, and there are proven pathways to continue that momentum. And of course, many of those changes are being made right here in the Golden State. I'm Heather Waldman for KCRA 3 News.